So let us have a look at another H5P content type that was created by the NDLA in Norway. So it is called H5P Discussion, and it is a content type that's also, um, yeah, more open from a pedagogic point of view. So um, this is how it looks. It's called H... Did I click on it? No, I didn't. So this is H5P Discussion. And um, so what, what you can do with it, you can define some statements here. And um, or statements could be, could be anything that... You should drag and and here you, you always have two columns so kind of a, a pro column and a con column um i said arguments for h5p and uh, i named it the other one h uh, arguments against h5p um so it could be anything can of course change the labels and then you have to ask a user to sort these um items up here uh, into um the categories that he or she thinks match so um, again, totally subjective. So it, it, uh, maybe some person says, okay, accessibility is um, it's an argument for H5P, which is, um, yeah, um, because it, not not many people think about accessibility or put that in, in their source code and they try to really be accessible. So this is an argument for H5P to use it, but maybe the speed, um, um, I'm not too sure, but it, Take some time to load, and maybe I don't like that, so uh, I put that into uh, the right hand side column. So it is an argument against HRP. And let's say the price, of course, it's free. Um, I could put it into the arguments for HRP column, but maybe I am thinking of hrp.com. And um, in that case, it, it, is, it is not expensive in comparison to other software that does same or similar things. But if you're just a lonely teacher who's on his or her own, um, then it is pretty expensive. So um, let's say I'm one of those and I'll put that into um, uh, the con column. So now I'm done. And then maybe, I, okay, um, this is what the teacher will see later on, but maybe uh, that's not enough. So maybe I need to explain a little why I put that there. So again, yada, yada. Um, and that would be it. And now, similar to course presentation, uh, not course presentation, to documentation tool, I could create a document. And uh, you'll see it will create this little template where everything is sorted correctly, including the, the summary that I wrote. And uh, I could click on export and would create, just like documentation tool, would create a text document that I can uh, download and uh, share with my teacher, upload it to some um, platform. Um, yeah, and that's how the teacher would learn about what I think about H5P and what I think is good and not not so good. Uh, I could click on submit and I have uh, that activated on the platform, but I, I checked it doesn't do anything, so it doesn't sub submit anything to a grade book. Um, yeah, that's a pity. And if I click on that, also some some there are some smaller visual glitches. So uh, let's reload that quickly. So. Uh, it feels a little weird, so I can also sort things here, which I guess should have been removed in some way, but no, uh, not too many people might do that. And um, there's something which is probably an accessibility feature because some people might have trouble dragging those down, so you can also click on that button here. And um, you could move that argument somewhere else. So uh, let's say move that to arguments against HFA. You could do it that way. And um, again, as with h priority, it, it takes like half a second until um, something happens. But um, yeah, that's just a small visual glitch. And I could also delete an argument. So if I don't want to use it at all, and just to make that clear, <laughs> I could delete it. Um, that's what you could do in the view. And of course, there are some uh, options to customize it. And again, we... we um, have, of course, have the arguments or statements that you would have. You can um, uh, have a summary. And as in res uh, H5P um, priority, which we now saw before, but if you're watching that video later on, you didn't see, you can have a resource library uh, where you can add um, maybe some literature that people have to read. And just for demonstration purposes, I will uh, put in um, something here. This is the H5P web page. So, and I could add a link, which would be h5p.org. And I could add more if I wanted to. 
And then I have some behavioral settings where I can decide, should the person be able to retry? Let's say no. Should the arguments be randomized? Yeah, that's okay. Should um, be, the, the user be able to add their own arguments? It's put on yes. I haven't found a way to do that, unfortunately. And let's say we don't need the summary. So we could do that. And of course, um, text overrides would be here. So um, this is actually where you would define what the label should be. So arguments for HFP could be something else. It uh, doesn't always have to be that one, obviously. Um, and yeah, that's how it's done. Let's Maybe let's have a look at the allow users to add their own arguments feature when we have a look at that again. Maybe I just missed it. So, um, oh, I, I see. Uh, now I see it. Um, I was blind, sorry. So um, unlike uh, for HFP uh, priority, you don't add that here. With the statements, but you can add that here. Let's say an argument against H5P would be um, not much developer documentation. Okay, so now it's added here. I see. Could I move that back? Oh, yeah, I could. Now I can move it back. So, this um, okay, obviously you can add your own arguments. I was wrong, sorry. And uh, then the, the resources we defined here, you can you get an extra button with, that you can click on, and now we see we get a list of all the resources that we added, and maybe I have to read about HFP first before I can um, decide on on the pros and the cons. So that is how that is done. And that, um, yeah, and again, you could create your document, and um, oh, I didn't put anything in here, so no arguments. So, but that is called that is good. Um, yeah, that's HFP discussion. And uh, unfortunately, I am not sure if there is um, like a pre-built content app that you could download, but you could go to um, yeah this GitHub repository. Again, I will share that in the video description later on. And uh, that's where you can, can build the content and uh, create the package yourself. I'm, yeah, but um, for my next live stream, I'll, I promise to ask NDLA if there is um, some page where you can can download that so you can install it more easily. Yeah. Um, no, I'll do something else. Um, I'll, yeah. Um, you know what? When I created these videos, I will, uh, when I render those videos uh, to YouTube, I will create just a blog post and um, share it there with no maintenance or no support at all, but then you can at least download it and, uh, and use it. I'll do that. 